We have a sack. With a, yeah, a very small camcorder. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's something. I wasn't, wasn't real sure. I didn't know whether, it, it, Eric bought me some uh, binoculars. Sometimes I have to do the, the thing to even remember the word. Uh, bought me some binoculars for uh, my, uh, my birthday. I, I enjoy watching birds. So he got, bought me a set of bird watching binoculars and a bird feeder and, and a bird book so that now I can actually watch birds in my yard. We can get everything set up and hopefully attract some, some of these nice uh, northern Iowa birds that we didn't have back in Ohio and Illinois. This is not any sort of seeing eye glass. This is, this is a recorder. This is so you can record what's going on. Yeah, I can turn this thing on and go here and record who's here today and who's not, who's sticking out their tongue at me and who isn't my wife. <laughs> record all of this and have records of it. Use for whatever purpose I might decide. Yeah. Might use it for some of you that are here, what your actions are, might use it for those that aren't here. Aha, you really weren't there. See, we got the, the, the video and you weren't on it. Your life, my life, leaves a record. Sometimes we don't think about that. Sometimes we don't think about necessarily the consequences, the lasting results of our actions. We need to consider that. I think we all know up here God sees it all. God is recording it all. God has a perfect memory. He never forgets any of it. So we know it up here. But sometimes I think we forget that in living life. That sometimes we think, ah, nobody's around. I can do whatever I want to do. Amen. But there's consequences to that. Often there's people whose lives are hurt by that. Certainly there are opportunities to minister, opportunities to witness that are, are missed by that. And someday we're going to give an accounting. And I know there's some people who have the idea that there's this huge movie screen, like a big old drive-in theater. You guys remember what that, that is? Most of, you, most of you know that. Some of you younger ones, okay, you guys do know what those things are. <laughs> big old screen like that. And up in heaven when you get there, you're going to stand there and God's going to run the movie of your life. And it might be like that. I don't know. I don't think so, but it might be. But certainly God knows what you've done. And there's going to be an accounting. Why didn't you witness to that person you had the opportunity to? They, 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 they missed the opportunity to hear the gospel because you didn't share it with them. Or why were you so mean and vicious and angry to that person who did almost nothing. Can you imagine the pictures of your road rage if they were displayed on a large screen? How stupid you might look. How stupid I might look. <laughs> this guy passes me and I start honking the horn and screaming and shouting and he can't hear me because he's already half a mile ahead. How stupid that looks. God knows. And God knows the reason. It may simply have been a bad day. You might not really be angry at that person that passed you there and cut you off in traffic. It may be your alarm didn't go off. When you did get up, then the coffee machine overflowed. You had to change clothes, so you got out of the house late. You got to work late. Your boss started hollering at you. You called your wife at, the, at lunchtime. She started hollering at you because you forgot to do something before you left this morning. So a guy cutting you off in traffic may simply be the straw that broke the camel's back. But how we react and how we act is all going to be things that we give account for. Think about this. Your, God is watching your life. So live it to the best of your ability. And especially pray and ask Him to show His grace and His mercy through you. 
Surrender some of that idea, that, that false idea of control. Jerome and I had some discussions this morning about where the offering plate was going to be. And neither one of us necessarily want to make that decision. We're beginning to learn this thing that we really aren't in control, but there are some things we may have control over. Very small. Realize that in your life. There's very little you actually control. Most often you are reacting. So consider how you react. Think about that when you uh, see the video cameras like this one or the, the fancier one Eric has in the back recording all of this. Sermon in the Sack is on YouTube, by the way. You guys can check them out. I'm not sure whether we're up to date on them or not, but uh, there's a whole bunch of them there. We're actually getting pretty close. Getting close to up to date. Eric takes care of that for me. I appreciate that. I have people, uh, relatives in Ohio and Alaska, that actually get on YouTube and watch these. So uh, I think that's pretty neat. We're going to do something else.